We're going to turn this model into a decimal. Notice it's broken into 10 different parts and nine of them are shaded in. So that's nine tenths as a fraction. And my decimal is going to be said the same exact way. Anytime I have something that's to the tenths place, there's one digit after the decimal point. So this is nine tenths and that looks like this, zero and nine tenths, one digit after the decimal point here, broken into 10 parts, three of them are shaded in. So that's three tenths, one decimal place, one digit after the decimal point. So zero and three tenths. This is broken into a hundred pieces. So 33 out of a hundred are shaded in. So that's going to be 33 hundredths. Now, when I make decimals to the hundredths place, I need two digits after the decimal point. So it looks like this, zero and 33 hundredths. And this one, there are 82 parts shaded in out of the hundred. So it needs to say 82 hundredths, and there needs to be two digits after that decimal point. So it says zero and 82 hundredths. And last one here like this, there's seven of these that are shaded in, and it's seven out of a hundred, so seven hundredths. And since I'm out to the hundredths, I need to make sure there are two digits after the decimal point. So it needs to look like this, zero and seven hundredths. Now it's very important that it's zero and then a seven after the decimal point, because that says seven. If it was seven, then zero, it would say 70. So we need to make sure our digits are in the right place. There's seven hundredths, just like here in this place, that's the hundredths place, and there's seven in the hundredths place. We have a number line here broken into 10 parts. This point is at the one, two, three, four, five, sixth point. So that's six out of the 10 parts, six tenths. So one digit in after the decimal point, four tenths. And this one's broken into 100 points between zero and one. And here's five tenths and six tenths. So this is 50 hundredths and 60 hundredths. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 hundredths. And once again, since I'm at hundredths, there needs to be two digits after that decimal point. So zero and 59 hundredths. And here it is less than 10 hundredths because this is 10 hundredths and one less. So that's nine hundredths. And I need to have two digits after that decimal point because I'm going out to the hundredths. So it's written as zero and nine hundredths. Whenever I write a number in word form, it needs to be read and said the exact same way in number form. So four and three tenths, I put down the four and a decimal point for the and, and then three tenths. Since it's tenths, there's only one digit after the decimal point. Whenever I have hundredths, I need two digits after the decimal point. So nine and the decimal point, 70 hundredths. So I write down 70 and there's two digits there. So that means I am out to the hundredths place. So that's nine and 70 hundredths, both said and read the same way. Three and nine hundredths. I write down the whole number and the decimal point for the and, and this one says nine hundredths. A lot of kids just put down a nine and say that they're good, but this is three and nine tenths. This goes out to the hundredths place, so I need to make sure that I have two digits after the decimal point, so that is incorrect. It needs to be three and for the decimal, decimal point for the and, and then it needs to say nine with two digits. So that's zero, nine, that's three and nine hundredths. If it was nine, zero, that would be three and 90 hundredths. And whenever we have a fraction, our decimal is read the same exact way. So this is eight tenths. Our decimal is read the same exact way, eight tenths one digit after the decimal point because I'm with tenths. Here's another tenths. It's going to be one digit after the decimal point, nine tenths and nine tenths, one digit after the decimal point. We have hundredths with these. There's going to be two digits after the decimal point. So 34 hundredths 
and that is a decimal is zero and thirty-four hundredths, two digits after the decimal point. And with this one here, I have six hundredths, and the decimal of that is zero and six hundredths. Notice there are two digits after the decimal point, and when I read that, it says six. So the six is in the hundredths place because it is six hundredths. If the six was here in the tenths place with a zero after it, that would be read as 60 hundredths.